Over the last four weeks, we have taken 15 different buses, five of which are mini buses, seven medium-sized buses, and two long night buses. And tonight, we are taking our longest ride back from Gorham, where we are right now, all the way to Istanbul. We're Keith and Dev. Our goal is to make the most of each day with adventures big and small. In February, we left for a year of travel. Most recently, we have spent the last month bussing around Turkey. Subscribe to follow along. This was our route. We traveled from Istanbul to Bergama, Bergama to Izmir to transfer to Selçuk, Selçuk to Denizli, Denizli to Pumakale, then back to Denizli, then to Fethiye, Fethiye to Kash, Kash to Antalya, Antalya to Nevişehir, Nevişehir to Gorum, and our last bus will be from Gorum back to Istanbul tonight. The total cost for all these buses in the buses we will be taking tonight was 2,722 Turkish Liras, which is 233 Canadian dollars. For both of us, so that's for two people. So that's pretty impressive for, for all the travel. For the trip done. around Turkey, mm -hmm. yeah. But before we leave on our bus later tonight, we first wanted to go over the things we've learned about the bus systems in Turkey and how to travel around. Because honestly, there's not much out there and we were kind of stressed out when we were in Istanbul mm -hmm. and had all these trips planned but didn't know how it was gonna go. So here are tips that we would have liked to have done. All right, so in terms of booking, there are three different types of buses, but we're gonna categorize them in two things. Big buses and medium and small buses. All right, big buses are those coach buses, no toilets. No toilets, but really nice, and they're usually the long trips, as in night buses, or you could do it during the day, but we like to do them at night, because then we save money on hotels. It's time to get on our bus, slash our hotel for the evening. Exactly, and the second type of bus is the medium or, or mini bus, which is the city bus or the shuttles that take you maybe for a 10 minute drive or... All the way to about four or five hours. In terms of booking, we booked our very first bus online because we didn't, that's how you do things in Canada and we didn't really know how to do it. It was pretty difficult. The site did not work on our computers. Nope, had to do it on the mobile. Only worked on our phone and we used BusBud, which did, which did end up working. It cost a little bit more because it's an outside organization. Where you really want to book your bus is at the bus stop at the many kiosks. And surprisingly, there's only one kiosk that offers the bus generally that you'd want to take. Or at least one that's open and people are really helpful in helping you find Fine. it. Yeah. And we've also found surprisingly, there's always someone who speaks English. If you can say the name of the place you're going, mm -hmm. they'll point you in the direction of someone who can help you. If you're at a bus stop for your trying to book overnight, we say book that ahead of time at the bus stop. Yeah, so what we would do is when we arrived to a, a place, let's say we were staying for like two or three nights, when we arrived, we would book our night bus for three days from then. That way, um, we know we definitely got a spot on the bus. You can- they can be full. They can be full. You can book it the day of, but we just didn't want to risk it, so we would book it right when we arrived for the three yeah. days later. You can also use a credit card when you book online or at the bus stop. And now moving on to mini buses slash medium-sized buses. These buses you don't need to book ahead of time, you just show up at the bus stop mm. and there'll be a schedule of all of the buses that are available that day. There's usually, it can be, the buses can be anywhere from every 30 minutes to three times a day. Mm -hmm. And again, people are super helpful in getting you to find your bus. For these medium to small size buses, it's all cash. And you're gonna pay either right when you get on, when someone comes and takes your cash when you're Once on you're the bus. you're sitting on the bus. Or when you hop off if it's a small little shuttle. So just have the cash handy and then they'll ask for it whenever. And the other thing about that is don't worry about tourist taxes because that is not a thing here. Yeah. The whole time we paid the exact same amount as locals and it's very honest. And it is. again, everybody was really kind and helpful. Yeah, super kind and helpful and honest. We're now gonna give you some quick tips we learned from our 15 buses traveling across Turkey that I think would have helped us a lot. First off, bathrooms. There's no bathrooms on the coach buses, so have some change, have one to three Turkish Liras in change to pay for bathrooms at the bus stops. If there's someone there, they're gonna ask for money. If there isn't, well, you don't need to pay them. <laughs> also, um, throughout your bus trip, it will stop, so you can hop off the bus to use the bathroom, but just be quick because it does leave pretty quick. When you're traveling along the coast, of Turkey, the roads get really windy. They're really pretty, but really windy. Really windy, so if you're like me and have a bit of motion sickness, I'd recommend some non-drowsy gravel mm -hmm. so you can see the views and not feel like you're gonna throw up. And on that note, for night buses, mm -hmm. we would recommend normal gravel. We both take one before we go to sleep that and helps. it actually helps a lot. <laughs> fall asleep. All right, regarding night buses too, have your passports ready because when you're traveling between provinces, police can come in and ask for your identification. So have that ready, regardless of the time. Because they will come wake you up and there are police checkpoints. Happened to us, two police officers at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we the crap out of us. <laughs> 
on to the next point, which is no matter what time you get on the bus, if it's a night bus or a coach bus, they serve coffee and tea and sometimes mm. cookies, which is pretty cool. Oh, she's walking around with uh, tea and coffee and asked us, and I said, obviously, yeah, I'm good. Devin asked for uh, a coffee. And I'm like, what are you doing? That's silly. The employee working on the bus, on the night bus, will know your destination, will ask ahead of time, and it will wake you up when you arrive. So don't worry too much about that. They actually know what's going on. Oh, I feel like they'd be so easy to sleep through your stop. Oh my goodness. And the last point is if you are like us and love Google Maps, you'll check to see how long the de it takes to get to your destination. Oh, it's only five hours. And it takes at least two to three hours more than that because of all the stops. And even the small, medium-sized buses, it'll take more time because they stop and pick up anyone on the side of the road. So <laughs> those out of are, niceness. Yes, out of niceness. And again, that's one thing we, everybody has been so kind and these bus trips went way smoother than we thought we still have one more. So knock on wood. <laughs> Hopefully these tips were helpful. Yeah, I guess we'll see you tonight for our night bus from Gorham, Cappadocia to Istanbul. And it'll so, take 12 hours, supposedly. See you in a few hours. A few hours later. Six to be exact. We now are going to get groceries, food, and then to the bus. Okay, we've been here for six days and this is the second night in a row. We've been, also we go to the same restaurants. It's fine, this is the second time being here. The prices have gone up since we were last here. These stickers, They put new. stickers over top. What the heck? Oh man. Dang it. Well, it took me a while to order there because, well, the prices went up like 30 lira for Devin's dish. And Which is like three bucks in literally two days. I'm a bit peeved. I got me sandwich, looks pretty good. Haven't had any Turkish meatballs yet this whole time I've been here. So I've been a bit, you know, careful. But um, these look pretty good. Very nice. And we got a veggie tray to split. It was more expensive. But veggies are just the best. But also, this veggie plate we got last time. And it was so it was good. Really good, wasn't it? It was so good. So it's worth it. So 10 bucks instead it. of seven. Mm. Well, we ate food and now we're waiting for our bus. And this is what it looks like. We think we actually might have to take two buses, so we might not be in the big bus yet. But we don't know, but we're waiting. Which means that the total buses we would have taken in Turkey is 17 instead of 16. <laughs> but we'll likely have to take another bus once we get to Istanbul to get to our Airbnb. So that might be 18. It's gonna be a long little while. Another pointer is that most buses actually have the destination on them. So that helps a lot. Also, I get like this weird anxiety on travel days that I need to work on because we're literally traveling for a year and yeah. I shouldn't be, I should be excited. Then it gets the anxious I, like for change. I also get anxious when I don't sleep and I don't sleep well. Enough. She has been waking up early and like, you know what woke me up this morning? A water bottle crinkling because she was working out beside me. Because <laughs> she woke up at five and could fall asleep again. It was six. six. And we had a big space, so I wanted to use it to Crinkle, crinkle, eyes. wakey, wakey. <laughs> no reason to be nervous. Shirt I want is most likely at the bottom. Yep, I think so. Keith, that's why you take it out ahead of time. <laughs> Just Jason at the bus station. Herbs are huff. Is it rude? Likely. No one noticed, rude. but everyone that's watching. <laughs> All right, we haven't left yet. It is uh, 7.48. Our bus leaves at 8 o'clock. But um, we're not sure if it's from here or from the next town. It says Gorm 8 o'clock because our ticket's actually from Nevishir. So it's like the shuttle's included, but it's not part of the ticket. The guy to ask is not here right now because it's Ramadan and he's eating dinner. So we're waiting. So I talked to other people that are here and everybody has different buses than us because the bus from here was full. We didn't book early enough. So we have to take a bus from Nevishir, which is the town close by, but we don't know how we're getting to Nevishir. And our guy's not here. Good news, our guy's here and he says, don't worry, don't worry, there's a bus coming, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I got the tickets. Ready? Yeah, <laughs> thank you. All the stuff we said earlier, of course, the last bus is the one that's the most confusing. I promise the rest of these bus trips we've been super chill. 
and it's just worked out fine. It hasn't been this confusing. When you when you move really quickly like we just did, you constantly feel like you forgot stuff. <laughs> I don't think we did. I hope not. But we're supposed to transfer now, so we got on this big bus, which is a coach bus, which is not usually a shuttle. No. <laughs> and then we, we transfer. We have to find, at 9.15 we have to find the metro bus. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if this is a smooth transfer. We don't know now. We're at a gas station. But isn't it over there? I don't know. So I guess they're taking a smoke break and getting gas on our time. <laughs> we still have 35 minutes until our bus. I assume this is where we stand because we're taking the metro one, but I don't know. The metro bus arriving and Devin went to go ask Holy crap, she went inside to go ask the metro people. Hopefully it waits a bit. Istanbul? Where are you? Devin, get over here. I need your ticket for crying out loud. I'm pretty sure it doesn't leave until 9.15, but maybe it leaves early. <laughs> Alright, we made a friend, which is really nice. I think I lost my chest strap, which isn't very nice. This is our bus, it's five minutes late. Pretty sure we're good. These are five, six? We're not smooth travelers, are we? We usually are. Well, this is my crib. This is my entertainment system, which... Is all in Turkish. Which is all in Turkish. You can't watch anything in English. Uh, it has Angry Birds, though. You, well, at least the last one did. Um, also, if you want to charge your device, your screen's got to be on full brightness. Uh, blinding light at brightness is what it's called. So you can't really charge your device at night. It's actually pretty comfortable though. It's a coach bus. One row over here, two rows over here. It is 9.34. We're now heading on the bus that we'll be on all night. From Nevishir to Istanbul. Let's see how long it's going to take. Google Maps says it will take 9 hours and 53 minutes. So I can't dim this one. I can still play Angry Birds though. Level one. <laughs> Excuse me. Come on. You've been sleeping, Dev. Not yet. I was trying to, but then I had a yogurt drink, so I'm more awake now. These yogurt drinks are key first. They're actually really good. We made it to the next bus station, and I don't know how long we're going to be here, but we're picking up people, and usually people get off the bus to have a smoke break and sometimes pee. It is 11.51, it's our first police check. Pit stop for the bathroom break, I might go. 105, finally moved again. from Istanbul, seven hours left on Google Maps. But we can extend that by a couple hours. Asia side. So we gotta make our way. We're still on the Asia side. So we 
gotta go in the underground tunnel. And then we'll have to find our Airbnb. But that was pretty good. I slept for a while there, from 3 o'clock until now. Took two gravels. <laughs> Five hours of sleeping, you probably slept more than I did, Yeah, in and out, it was good. These are really good. Pistachio. And they're pretty much like Canadian larvars, except this one is coconut and chia seed, and they're, you can you know all the ingredients in them, and they're really good price. Too bad we found them literally at the end of our trip. That's it. I think we've made it. And we're just about to park. It's been, well, it's 9.09. I am so over 12 hours. So Holy crap. 13, 13 hours of trying to figure this out and getting here. We're getting here. And we still to have here. to get to Airbnb. So let's go up this bus. All right, let's go find our Airbnb. All right, so hilarious. We got, well, told that it was our bus stop. We're good. Check my phone. We're good. Get off the bus. It was a traffic jam. It was just a mess. And then the bus drove away. We had, once we had our stuff, we realized we were in the middle of the street and then people were telling us to get off the street. So like, within seconds, you're off your bus and it's like, okay, see ya, hope you didn't forget anything, because the bus is gone. Our bags are also very dirty now. Hopefully everything's okay, but we're good. We're awake, we're in Istanbul, 13 hours later. It's almost like getting hatched. I feel like we just got plopped off in the middle of the road. And it's also funny how weird the location of this main bus stop we in Istanbul been is. We haven't been to this one before. We, by far the most confusing going to, of all of them. It's <laughs> just so funny because we, yeah, we were going to on the way out. It's just so far out of downtown. Yeah, so I think we actually might just cabin because it's fairly cheap. We're going to go check that out. We've done the shuttle thing. Mm -hmm. The shuttles are easy to do, but you know what? It's only 10 bucks to, to taxi in. It's been a long time. It's been yeah. a long time. All right. Good though. I mean, it was a good bus ride, right? and I still stand by everything you said this morning about the buses Oh, for, Turkey. for sure, for sure. It was just confusing today for some reason. Yeah. Anyhow. This is crazy. We got our first taxi agreement, 100 lira to get us all the way there, which is about 10 bucks. So that's pretty good. And I think it'll be nice just to get there. So we did 16 buses. That's it, we made it from the middle of Turkey to Istanbul, back where we started our trip. Yeah, hopefully a better experience this that, time. Yeah, Just for kidding, sure. the great, the beginning of Istanbul is lovely. Yeah, that was a long trip, that was a long day. But I stand by the bus systems in Turkey, there's so many buses and you can get around easily everywhere. We did Agreed. give up sort of at the end there with the taxi, but that's only because it's so busy and, and we're, we're tired. We're tired so. <laughs> but no, the bus system here is awesome and uh, that worked out great. It is always going to be a bit of a scramble getting off, but that's just how it's travel how is, travel isn't it? Is, especially with us, it's Exactly. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. It's 8 o'clock. We're downloading Harry Potter. Well, actually, we're transferring it to hard drives, but I feel like we're in like the Matrix or something. All right, good to eject. Yeah, this is the tro this is the tro stop. <laughs> this in bicep workouts. Let's see the biceps. Oh, nicely done. Mine's heavier than yours. My sunglasses are downstairs. Let's get butt workout with these.